central Arkansas woman says she doesn't feel safe after someone shot arrows through her house. The woman lives on Harper Street in Malvern. She says that she heard glass breaking outside but didn't pay much attention until she got home and noticed the arrows. No one was hurt. Good news there, but the woman says it could have been much worse. She called police and tells Carrie for Shell Turner the careless act doesn't make any sense, Rochelle. That's right, Bob. Good evening to you. Jennifer Golden's bedroom sits right next to where one of the arrows got stuck in a wall. It's also the same spot where her granddaughter plays all the time. She says someone could have been killed and wants to know why someone would do it. On the back of Jennifer Golden's home on Harper Street in Malvern. The cops can't get it out of there either. It's a spot that's hard to miss. I seen a hole in my door and glass. And that's when I noticed my house has been hit with arrows. One of the arrows? You know, it just doesn't make sense. Plunged inside a wall at the back of her home. It won't budge out, and it split the door frame. Inside her home? This serious business. Lies damage. It was pretty terrifying. And this hole from another arrow. That's the strength to kill a deer. I mean, it's, it, this was a high-powered, you know, compound bow. The arrow launched inside Golden's laundry room. My granddaughter, she's just head high where the arrow hit. So, and she has her art room back there. So if that would have, the timing would have been right. That could have went right through her head. And so that's pretty creepy. Golden says the arrow barely missed where she sleeps. So if it had went through this window instead, it would have went right through the window here. Golden says she just doesn't understand. I think that you know, that they were out doing things that they shouldn't have done. They probably didn't realize where it went. And just wants to feel safe inside her home. Please, you know, think twice. It may be your children or your grandchildren playing. How would you feel if your daughter was sitting in a room and an arrow went through and stuck in the wall? Now, Golden says she's meeting with her landlord to assess the damages. Detective spoke to a neighbor who says they didn't shoot the arrows. They searched the home and found other arrows along with a quiver and a case, but no signs of a boat. Back to you. All right, Rochelle, thanks very much.